Hey besties, welcome back to the bestie cult. Subscribe if you want to join the cult and like at any point if you want to support me. I appreciate it. Anyway, have you been struggling to draw recently and has drawing lost all its joy and uh, happiness and making it feel fun and funness? Me too. And in this video, I'm going to share with you what I've been doing in order to rekindle the funness of art. I know I barely just spoke English. Please just let's just ignore it. Let's just move on. I've been struggling to create art that feels meaningful recently and start struggling in general to find the motivation to draw anything at all. Being an artist on social media and feeling pressured to create things for social media. When you first started drawing, art was fun, right? Your intention in drawing whatever it was you were drawing as a kid or whenever you started drawing, it was always for yourself, at least in my experience. I always would just draw whatever I wanted and I wouldn't really care what other people would think of it. But it seems like now the focus is on creating art that is going to get the most likes and views and follows and whatever attention on social media and it sucks it's making art not fun at least for me what have i been doing recently to try to fix that i have gone back to basics when i first started drawing i was not a digital artist which is what i've been trying to learn recently i started by drawing with well pencil and paper obviously when I very first started drawing but when I enjoyed drawing the most and I felt the most productive in my I guess art improvement and progress made the most progress in improving my art I was drawing with Copic markers and pens and pencils and paper and I would draw characters from video games and TV shows that I liked, which is still something I do, of course, but I am specifically specifying that because I wanted to share with you guys what I've created recently that I has really helped me to find joy in drawing again. I think I was trying to say that this going back to traditional art and back to basics has helped me overcome perfectionism and find motivation to draw again because I actually enjoy just using Copic markers and using pens and stuff and it's actually fun for me and it's not that challenging. And I um, unfortunately I didn't film the process of creating these pieces but I drew a few anime characters that I really like and I think I'm gonna continue working with Copic markers and pens and pencil and, and eraser and paper and just go back to traditional art for some time because I need to find that joy of creating art for myself again. And if you're in a similar situation, I, the reason I'm making this video is because I know that there are a lot of other artists who struggle with art block and just struggling to find the motivation to create art or to find a reason to make art. Um, so I'm just hoping maybe me sharing what I've done recently to actually have fun drawing again might help you watching this video. Another thing I wanted to mention is in this video I'm not saying that you should avoid doing hard things in art. I just think that if you are having trouble finding the motivation to draw right now, maybe just going back to what you originally enjoyed creating when you first started making art it might help you find that motivation again and also maintaining a balance between creating art that you find is fun and challenging yourself in order to grow is important to avoid art block. So um, I'll put up on the screen some of the things I've drawn recently and I'm going to continue creating similar artworks to those. Um, I also, I tried going back to painting and I didn't like it. I think also when I tried to learn how to paint with acrylic paint, I didn't enjoy it either. I felt like 
because of art classes in high school, I thought that real art was painting and my art teachers would always tell me like, oh, like, like when they were talking about art history and stuff, they would always talk about famous painters and it felt like that was the, if you want to become an official artist, you have to know how to paint. So I kind of forced myself to learn how to paint, but I never really enjoyed it. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God, stop fucking lying. I'll just insert the process of me creating this painting that I ended up giving up on. As you can see, the walls behind me are quite blank. So that was my goal in creating that piece. And unfortunately, it just didn't end up working out. So so to anyone who is actually a painter, please do not judge me. I know my setup is a little sus, but I was just trying to actually get the motivation to work on this painting. <laughs> But yeah, that's what I've been up to recently in terms of art. I I also recently got monetized. Yay! I'm so excited about that. Thank you all so much. I can't express my gratitude to you all enough. I never would have even imagined that I'd have over a thousand subscribers or get as many watch hours as I have gotten. But once again, I'm forever grateful to each and every one of you. Yeah, honestly, it just feels surreal that people care to watch my videos. I know this video is kind of all over the place, but I just wanted to get back into the flow of things and update you all on where I've been, what I've been up to, actually share my art with you because most of my videos are not really showing you what I actually draw. For like some mo the most part, like originally when I created this channel, I was thinking of making it a drama channel, but then I started making drama videos and I they just felt really unfulfilling and just spreading hate, which I don't really want to do on the internet. There's enough hate there already, especially in the art community. But yeah, I'm hoping moving forward I can share actual valuable advice and just show you what I'm up to in terms of art and maybe some vlogs who knows more personal content the next video I'm thinking of making it will be a little bit more like sit down talk about stuff more similar to the past videos that I've made so don't worry don't unsubscribe I swear I'm still gonna make content like I did before I'm just gonna add more personal content as well so Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.